Good morning. What will a person give in exchange for their soul? Today we're studying Mark chapter 8, verses 34 through to the end of the chapter. Verse 38, let me read it. When he had called the people to himself with his disciples also, he said to them, Whoever desires to come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake and the gospel's will save it. For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? Or what will a man give in exchange for his soul? For whoever is ashamed of me and my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him the Son of Man also will be ashamed when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels." That's an intense passage, and it's aimed straight at your heart and mine. After Jesus tells of the sacrifice that he will make, you know, the last two mornings as we've been going through these devotionals, now they find out about the sacrifice that they must make. Jesus' sacrifice atones for sin, ours does not. Jesus' sacrifice gives to us a gift of eternal life based on Jesus' merits. What do we give up? We don't have anything to give up. Jesus is giving us all good, and in exchange for that, we're giving him all bad. There's no merit in our uh, what we give up. There's no value in what we give up. We're just giving up trash. We're just giving up garbage to him, and we're receiving in exchange for it eternity. It's, there's no scale that can, can weigh those two, uh, those two different pieces. Eternity for garbage. Our sacrifice does not in any way atone. Jesus' sacrifice for us atones. And he makes it very clear in the Bible that, that our sacrifice does not atone. You know, today most people are selling out on a very, they're selling their soul on a very cheap market. They're trading a momentary, you know, juicy experience, just a momentary flight of happy feeling or, or some delicious flavor. They're, they're, they're trading that, eternity for that. What are you buying? What are you buying? What are you selling your soul for? That you would have a, a bowl of delicious red stew and give up eternity for it. The Bible's got a story like that, you know, back in the book of Genesis. But we modern people, we wouldn't sell out so cheaply, would we? But I guess we would. So we need the Holy Spirit to help us so that we won't make such a terrific, uh, sad, remarkable, awful choice like that. And of course, the devil is the great marketer. He's the great marketer that is, uh, has a way of putting everything into the current. He's very exist existential. And so everything is, you know, got to have it now, got to have it now. Bright white teeth, fast car, uh, you name it. We need it right now. We need to just feel it. We need to sell. He sells the sizzle. Yes, he sells the sizzle all right. There's an eternal consequence that comes if we adopt the wrong pieces there. So God help us to, to give some thought to this question. Everything's making noise around us. We're not thinking about these big questions. What will you give in exchange for your soul? No, not that person, you. Me, you. What will we give in exchange for our soul? So it sounds like it's time to pray. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, this is an important question. It's, the, it's connected to this question of who is Jesus. And so today, Lord, what will we give in exchange for our soul? What will we give up to receive eternity? Please, Lord, bless the hearers. Help us to make the choice. Help us to choose and to choose what we give in exchange for our soul. Well, so that's the question. What will we give Jesus in exchange for our soul? Or what will we give Satan in exchange for our soul? If you have a comment... Uh, these are very intense questions, these last couple of devotionals, thanks, thanks to the Gospel of Mark. Put a comment for us. Put a comment in the comments. Uh, like this thing. Let it go up in the search ranks so that other people can be faced with this question. They're not going to be asked this question at Walmart. They're not going to be asked this question probably in their own church very often. But this is a question, a question of heart. It's a question that we need to answer, and we need to answer it the right way. God be with you.